with our man about town, Mark DiCarlo. So you went out and checked out Chicago Pretzel Factory, huh, buddy? I did. Well, you know, I'm always going around town looking for cool Chicago jobs, and I thought at the beginning of our second year, we got to start promoting and, and getting into the community and, and making people more aware of the show. Okay. So I thought it would be cool if we could design a Windy City pretzel. Oh. But I have no pretzel chops. I've never built any kind of food, so I decided to enlist some professional help. Oh, good. Our goal is to make the Windy City Live pretzel. <laughs> We've set in front of you a penalty of different flavors. Use these in any combination you desire to make a unique and delicious pretzel. I wish you all good luck. Now begin. I like the almost impressionistic flair you're going for with the pretzel. Is that on purpose? No. What is Windy City about this particular pretzel? I don't know. <laughs> what did you name the pretzel that you made? Dessert. Dessert. All right, can you show it to me? Did you eat it? Mm -hmm. well, how do I know if you ate the good part or the bad part? Next! Do you have any experience in the pretzel business? Kind of. What is your experience? Um, eating. Next! Take a bite of it and describe the flavor. No, no, I didn't say nibble it. I said take a bite. Next! You're wearing your hair on it. Yes. Point for you. What have you done there? Um, it has frosting on it, it has Mike and Ike's on it, it has M&M's, and um, it used to have potato chips, and it has those, like, like little crunchy things. Next! What's the yellow stuff? Frosting. It looks kind of like a box of crayons exploded on your pretzel. Yeah, I can't think that. Next! Does it taste purple? I like it. It'll confuse the public. And when the public is confused, what do they do? They eat. Do you know what marketing is? Um, selling things. Yes. And as we've learned, how do you make people want to eat and buy things? Confuse them. You're doing this is good. Thank you. Do you currently have a job? No. So you're unemployed? Yeah. Next! Is it tasty? That's not a tasty face you're making. That's a yucky face you're making. Do you want to pause while you chew it and swallow it? Or do you want to spit it out? Next! Do you think pretzels taste better at night than they do during the day? Yes, because it's more like a dessert food. What happens to children that have their desserts first? A pony dies. That's right. You know, that rule used to be every time a kid has his dessert first, a unicorn dies. And now, we're out of unicorns. Next! There's a lot of sweets on your pretzel. So how can we avoid getting kids jacked up on pretzels? We could put some of the sweets in, not all of them. And what would that do? I would make it delicious and non-delicious. <laughs> I think I know what we're going to do. I think we got a winner. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Delicious and non-delicious. Delicious. So we've got a slew of uh, the... Uh, Those are the ones that the kids made. Yeah. Delicious. And, and non-delicious. Yes. <laughs>
And what'd you guys come up with? Well, we decided that they're cute, but they know nothing about making pretzels. <laughs> so we turned it over to the owners of the company, Kim and Scott, who are in the kitchen right now. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey. Hi, Kim. Hi, Scott. And they, they designed pretzels. We asked you guys what you liked. And Ryan likes, of course, grilled cheese. I like sushi now. Oh, yeah. right. I now <laughs> like sushi Mexican food. make a sushi pretzel. Yeah. It's not possible. <laughs> so what did you do with the grilled cheese and the Mexican food? So we took, um, you know, Val loves Mexican food and Ryan loves grilled cheese. So we put the two together for the ultimate twist, the Windy City Live new pretzel. It's a Chipotle Manchango pretzel. Ooh. It's Chim got three cheeses. Chihuahua, mozzarella, and manchango cheese. It's got chipotle peppers, it has onions, and crushed tomatoes. Wait, back up. Are we on the cover of that box? Yes, you guys. You're on the no box. Way. Way. It's a special Live pretzel. Threw out Kim and Scott and put in Val and Ryan. Oh, it, that's oh. so oh. <laughs> We have it right here. Thank you, guys. Is that great? Well, thank you. Now, I don't know who's delicious and who's non delicious, though. You'll have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> This is delicious. This is like delicious. Is that right? It's got a little kick. That's good. I'm the spicy. I'm the spicy. And you're going to thank me for the cheese in this thing. And the best, part, <laughs> the best part is it's a Windy City Live pretzel, and everybody in the audience is going to get one. My original pretzel. For being here. This was a lot of fun, and thanks for dealing with Mark DiCarlo for an afternoon. <laughs> Get, getting him out of the office for us. If you would like to try out, woo! Gotcha. The kick. <laughs> Windy City Live Inspire Pretzel. Be sure to visit our website for a link to order. We're going to pick our finalists in our cold cash giveaway just after the break. Enjoy your pretzel. Go get one at home.